In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to treat blisters. Stay tuned. So hello everybody and welcome back to another video. It's Happy Prepper and today we're going to be talking about blisters. So nobody really wants blisters. They're really painful and they're just bad. So how can we prevent blisters? So first off, if you have new boots, don't take them on a long hike right away. Try to break them in because if you just go on a long hike or go camping with the new boots, there's a higher chance you can get blisters. Sometimes even if you do all the preventatives I'm going to mention, you still may get blisters. But if you don't follow what I'm going to say, then you're probably definitely going to get a blister, really. Two, if you have sweaty socks, you want to change those socks out because in moisture, the blister can build up. Third, if it's too tight, if your boots are too tight or too um, loose, because then the friction will build up and then the um, blister will form. Also, if you're working with your hands, like chopping wood especially, put gloves on because once I was chopping like, not chopping wood, but like processing wood with an ax, I didn't put a blister on, I didn't put a gloves on and my skin wasn't really a blister, but it was like my skin like, yeah, it, was, it, was, it wasn't good, but it was sort of like a blister. So if you have a blister more on your foot and you don't want that boot rubbing against your foot um, over and over to make it worse, you could use moleskin Usually it's in like these giant squares, but this is pre-cut, which is really cool. It's like a little kit, has alcohol pads, and then the moleskin. So you'd want to, if you have the cutout ones, just cut it out a little bigger than the blister. And let's say this is like my foot, I'd want to put it over the blister and make sure it covers the whole blister. And then I'd want to secure it on. And this wouldn't treat a blister, but it will make it from not getting any worse because um, your boot will not be touching the blister. And if the blister is bad, you may want to do a couple layers of moleskin. So what what happens if you're on a long hike and you're, let's say you're in the start or the middle of the hike and you have a really big blister and you need to keep moving and the blister is really hurting and you can't really, you can't really walk as well with the blister. So what do you want, so what do you want to do is mo and most of the time, you don't want to pop the blister because it can lead to infection, which is not good. But if you have to, you want to take a needle, a match, light the match and sterilize the tip of the needle, pop it, and then take like a piece of gauze and drain it out. And then you're going to want to clean the blister out and then put a bandage, bandage over it. So let's say you don't have moleskin and you don't really need to pop it. What are you gonna do? So there's this other technique to make like, I guess DIY moleskin. So you just need gauze and duct tape. So you would take the um, gauze, put it on the duct tape and fold it until you get like a good sized square. And then you would take, and then you would put it on the blister, make sure it's a little bigger than the blister. Then you would put a piece of duct tape over the blister. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please smash that like button and subscribe to Happy Prepper. Share our videos so we can grow. We are heading towards 7,000 subscribers pretty fast, which is really cool. Thank you for getting me to 100 followers on Instagram. That is crazy. I'm going to be posting more on Instagram. So just thank you guys for so much of the support. So happy prepper out.